Hey guys, it's Karma here once again with a late recap. I've been sick all weekend, so this is the best I'm going to be feeling. This is potentially my last recap of Dollhouse, um, more on that later. But this is season 1, episode 7, called Echoes. So there's a lot of flashbacks in this episode of, of Caroline. Um, when she was with her boyfriend, and basically she was trying to break into this Rossum Center on this college campus to um, basically help all of the animal testing that they're doing and show like videos of it to get it on the internet to make people aware of the animal testing to get it shut down. So she goes to the boyfriend, there's more on that later. The episode really starts with the kid killing himself. He's kind of high on something and he runs into a wall and he dies. Basically there's this vial of this stuff that somebody created that is kind of dangerous because it really lowers your inhibitions and it gives you kind of a high and it also brings out kind of repressed memories. So the guy who runs this Rossum Center, he gets, he wants actives on the campus because they can't be affected because they don't have repressed memories. Um, so it won't really do anything to them. So, you know, Victor and Sierra all go there. And um, Echo's with a guy, um, she's, a, her, she's an imprint, her name is Alice. She sees what's going on at the center about all these kids um, and the death of the one in the beginning. And she sees it on TV and she says, I have to go save him. And she leaves the guy that she's with. And this is still, she's imprinted. This is an echo. This is a different person. So she's remembering things that are going on. And um, she needs to find these labs. So she ends up on campus. And Victor's like an agent who's kind of like running the shindig of everyone trying to find this file. And he thinks she's infected. So he sends her to like this room where they're going to sedate everybody because they're infected. And she meets this guy named Sam. And he says he wants to get in to the labs as well to basically show everybody what's going on and make it aware so she says that she thinks that she knows how to get there and she does there's this underground sewer which is how her and her boyfriend got in there in the first place she runs into Boyd who's kind of high as well um, it's we find out later that the infection is passed through touch so I don't remember who it was that touched him but he's infected and um, Dominic and Topher and Mr. Witt are all infected too and um, he says, would you like a treatment? And she says, no. And she walks away. So Topher and Mr. Wood are also kind of on the drug because they were testing on Millie, um, trying to find a cure. Even though Millie's the next door neighbor of the agent. Um, even though it couldn't, it couldn't hurt her, they can still monitor what it's doing to your brain. Because like I said, she doesn't have repressed memory, so it shouldn't affect her. But it does later. She gets up and they're talking about Echo because they're both kind of high off their minds. It's really funny to see Miss Stewart that way because she's always been so stiff and whatnot. And um, she gets up and she says, is that all you think about when you're with me? Because she's thinking that she's with the agent. And she says, um, there are three flowers in a, in a vase. And then she kind of stops. So she's okay. Um, and Hofer says she's having glitches because she's remembering. And um, basically, they go, we go back to the campus, and Sierra and Victor are also having these glitches. Sierra's thinking she's with her handler back when he did all those things to her, and Victor's with somebody else, and they're both kind of going crazy, and everyone's just going crazy this episode. Um, Sam, um, the guy that Echo slash Alice met, they find the vial, and he knows exactly where it is, which is a little weird. He puts it in a cloth and forces Echo to, like, take it. And he basically says that the guy who killed himself in the beginning was his best friend. And he wanted to go sell this drug in Sweden because it's a little bit easier to sell it there and to market it. But Owen didn't want to do that, so he gave him the drug. He didn't think anything was going to happen to him, but he gave it to him anyway. Um, so Echo is kind of going, slash Alice, is kind of going all cuckoo as well. And she's chasing after him. And she's having flashes to back when she was with her boyfriend when they were um, also in that building. And they were running from a security guard who found them taping all of what they were, all of these experiments and whatnot. And he gets shot and he dies. So she's having these flashes and she's thinking that Sam is her boyfriend and she's chased after him and she like tumbles him over. And then Boyd tells her, would you like a treatment? Because he finds her. And um, she's like, yes. And she goes with them. So all is well on that front. Um, I feel really bad. That's, I guess, how Echo got, or Caroline, got into this um, situation. Because there's also a part in the in the episode where Miss DeWitt's talking to her and she's like, I'll give you a life, your life for a life. Basically, um, you, after five years, we'll let you go. And that's basically the contract that these people make before they become dolls. So at the end of the episode, we see 
Sam talking to Miss DeWitt, and it, it's almost the exact parallel of the scene that was with Echo. And she says, I see that your mom's having financial trouble. We'll send her, like, money every month, blah, 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 for five years, after which you'll be able to take care of her yourself. So I guess it's safe to assume he's going to become a doll. Um, I really like that idea. I kind of like his character. So I did like that. The episode was good. It... It was okay. It wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be, um, but next week looks good. But these trailers are killing me. They keep making it look really good, and they're not as good. Maybe it'll surprise me, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be continuing these recaps. Um, it's really hard on Fridays, you guys. It really is to get these out there. Like I said, it's I don't have them up till Sunday night, so the views are like whoosh. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'd like to get feedback from you guys if you'd rather just have me, you know... I don't know, do whatever, but let me know, leave comments, subscribe, and I will see you soon for Greek and maybe Dollhouse.